DJ Dells, you know I love you. Funko Pop Addicts, what's really good? You see, we got two of the three Michael Jordans that have so far released. This is the third one right here. We have the Fanatics exclusive of Michael Jordan wearing his Concord Jordan 11's classic pair of shoes. I will show you an out of the box review in just a second. Plus compare it to the actual shoes that he's wearing. And I did that for both of these vids. So definitely check out all of the videos. Bang that thumbs up button for that out of the box look and let's get into it. All right, so here we go with a detailed look at the Michael Jordan Fanatics exclusive. As you can see, he's wearing Air Jordan Concord 11s, which you actually have behind this Funko Pop right here. An amazing pair of shoes. Just showing you the sneaker real quick. You have your patent leather in black wrapping around. You have a mesh upper. You have your jump man right there. You have your number 45. Now the reason why I had a 45 instead of the 20 three is because Michael Jordan changed his number when he came back to the NBA after he retired he tried out baseball didn't really work so well for him he came back and he wore the number 45 jersey and kicked some serious ass getting more rings more championships I really feel like Funko dropped the ball by not having this jersey have a 45 and I will give you a closer look in just a second I just want to kick some history when it comes to Michael Jordan too and um, we'll do a quick comparison with the other Funko Pops because why wouldn't we since I have them we have the Michael Jordan where he's just flying in the sky ready to dunk that ball kind of reminds me of when he did that amazing dunk from the foul line and he was actually wearing these shoes so I'm taking it that's what this is from so I'm taking it that's where this is from I love how they set him up on that stand and he looks like he's just about to dunk that dang thing then we got the Michael Jordan rookie season and he's wearing the jersey from when he was a rookie he's wearing Air Jordan ones not really nailing it with the sneakers on all of them i would say the ones that look the most like the actual jordans i'll give it to this one right here the fanatics exclusive then i'll give it to the jordan 3 the general release common and then i'll give it to the actual rookie one the target exclusive next just because this colorway is like not even close to a jordan one og colorway like the original colorways that's what i mean by og so um you know i wish that they were able to really sculpt it where it looked exactly like the shoe but they're not making that happen and i'm sure maybe that cost funko more money to make something like that actually happen because then they would have to deal with nike direct um, i'm sure they're not dealing with nike direct they're probably just dealing with michael jordan direct when it comes to these releases but once again i have detailed reviews on both of these funko pops and i compare them to the actual shoes that they're wearing on the Funko Pop. So definitely check out those reviews because it's a lot of fun to watch. Let's focus on this Fanatic exclusive. So right off the bat, once again, just like on the Target exclusive, there's kind of like blemishes on the paint, which I'm not happy about, kind of stinks. And you see a lot of it on the paint of this one right here, as you can see. So that's one thing that does suck. I wish that they could get the paint right. I noticed that on a lot of the African American Funko Pop characters. Like, there's a lot of blemishes they always do when it comes to the brown paint. I wish they would get that right because there's a lot of them that I own and they're a lot like that. And, and that stinks because, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard for them to do that. I think it's glue. I think that's what's all over his face. But it definitely shows. You can see it and that stinks. Uh, you have the basketball right there, which has great details. You, the sneakers are great. I love how it kind of looks like it has that translucent outsole, like the actual shoe. So I think that's super cool. And then you have your Chicago Bulls jersey. And once again, if it had the 45, they would have nailed it. There's a look at his side. Love the actual Bulls logo on his shorts. There's a look at his back. The jersey looks great. I don't think it was necessary to hit it with that touch of black up top on the sneaker. I wish they didn't do that. And there's a look at his other side. 
And you can see, like, all over his head, it's just a mess. Which sucks. And one more close-up look. Let me know how it went for you all that picked it up, too. Did it come shipped properly, or was it just, like, loose in, like, an oversized box? Because mine was. I wasn't happy about that. My box wasn't mint condition. They charged $35 total for me to get this to my house. I mean, $35, man, that's expensive. They should pack it, like, really good if they're going to charge that much for a Funko Pop. Hope you all had fun watching this video. Let me know which one is your favorite. The general release, the Fanatics exclusive, or the Target exclusive. Me personally, the best one is <laughs> definitely the general release. We've got Michael Jordan about to dunk the ball. There's no way that I'm picking any of these over this one right here. And I'm so happy that they made this the common instead of making, you know, one of these the common when this is clearly, in my eyes, the best one. But that doesn't mean that you have to agree with me. So please leave in the comment box which one you like better. The common, the Fanatics exclusive, or the Target exclusive. Leave it in the comment box below. I don't know which one is the most sought after out of these two right there, the exclusives. Let me know in the comments if you know. Me personally, I mean, it's cool to get a limited Funko Pop, but at the end of the day, I don't care if it's a general release, if it's not worth money, I'm buying the damn Funko Pop. That's just how it goes down with me. And um, if you love Funko, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're new here because we do so many reviews on all types of Funko Pop. And I just love this because it just brings me back to when I was a kid. Plus stuff that's going on now. Like, of course, we have like all the Endgame Funko, which I'm just so hyped to see this movie. Like, I'm just I'm counting the days, you know. I'm so hyped to see the movie. And um, it's just so much fun buying all these things and bringing me back to when I was a kid. And also, as I was saying, picking up stuff that's relevant today. So that's why I love Funko. Uh, let me know why you love Funko. And thank you so much for watching today's video. Yesterday, I did review this really sought after Funko Pop, the Night King Metallic AT&T exclusive. And I did a super duper detailed review. And I also give tips on how to actually buy the thing. So definitely watch yesterday's video. The day before last, I did a review on the Boba Fett. I still have so many more Funko Pops to review, like from Incredibles 2. This is a sick one right here. I, I have had this for about a week and a half, and I still have not reviewed it yet. There's just so much that I have not done reviews with yet. Um, you know, stuff that I've had for a while that I still haven't done reviews on, like even this Lord of the Rings Funko Pop, which is a uh, common, but the details on this is incredible. This is like such an awesome Funko Pop. Look at that, man. I mean, you know, as I said, like, I'm gonna buy what I like. I don't care if it's limited or not. It's fun to get the limited ones, but at the end of the day, man, I buy what I like. And um, that's it for today's video. I'm just rambling and rambling. If you're into the kind of stuff I'm into, definitely check out my podcast over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. We do an hour podcast basically every week with q a giveaways and it's so much fun we're at 57 episodes they don't get old because it's all q a and anything goes we talk about so much and it's unfiltered uncensored just super raw uncut so if that sounds like something you would be into definitely check out my patreon over at patreon.com backslash dj dells i will try to link this michael jordan common in the description box below for your convenience i'm pretty sure you still may be able to get it along with a ton of other Funko Pops. I like to list it on all of my videos just to try to lead you in the right directions if you're looking to pre-order slash order any new Funko. And that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all had fun watching it. Much love out there and we're getting close to the weekend. I hope everyone's ready for the weekend. I know I am. Thanks for tuning in once again. <laughs> Much love out there. We out.